Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation. The focus for today's scenario is taking an EKG on our patient, John Doppler, who is 40 years old and after drinking an espresso, has the primary complaint, my heart is racing. The objective of this simulation is to perform and interpret an EKG. Your goal should include placing a three lead EKG and calculating a heart rate based on an EKG. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient, including checking the patient name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that on the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional, Rebecca, and her student, Holly, as we demonstrate a three lead EKG. Hi, my name is Rebecca, I'm an instructor, and this is Holly, she's a student. We're gonna be taking an EKG demonstrating atrial tachycardia. Atrial tachycardia is the fast heart rate caused by some electrical abnormality in the atrium. Can you go ahead and tell me a little bit about the patient? Yes, today our patient is John Doppler. He's 40 years old and he drank an espresso and now he's complaining that his heart is racing. All right, can you confirm the patient's identity? Yes. The name and date of birth on the armband and my medical records match. All right, great. All right, Holly, go ahead and introduce yourself to the patient and explain to him what we're doing. Okay. Mr. Doppler, my name is Holly and I'm a student. And this is my instructor, Rebecca. How are you feeling today? My heart is racing. Okay, Holly, today we're gonna take a three lead EKG and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay. We have three leads, white, black, and red. The black one says LA for left arm. We're gonna put that below the left clavicle. And the white one, RA for right arm, below the patient's right clavicle and the red one, LL, for left leg, and you're gonna put that to the left of the umbilicus. For today's scenario, I'm gonna show you a normal EKG. We have a P wave, QRS complex, and a T wave, and then a U wave, which I'll explain. The P wave is atrial depolarization. QRS complex is ventricular depolarization with atrial repolarization, and then the T wave is ventricular repolarization. And then the UA is usually pathologic, sometimes in people with hyperkalemia. As you can see on this EKG, that there's large boxes and there's small boxes. And I'm gonna show you what those mean on this exploded view of it. Right here, you see that? Okay, each large box indicates two tenths of a second, and each small box is four hundredths of a second. And there's five of the small boxes in one big box. Okay, so using this knowledge, we're gonna be able to determine a patient's heart rate on EKG, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. From the beginning of the P to the end of the T, it's called a cardiac cycle. And if a person has a cardiac cycle every second, then their heart rate is 60 beats per minute. And if a person has a cardiac cycle every eight tenths of a second, their heart rate is 72 beats per minute. The leads are already in place, and we we'll go ahead and turn on the monitor. And we're gonna run a six second strip and we need to count to six. Okay. So I'm gonna push this button right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push the button again. Tear it off. Go ahead and put that on the medical record. Okay. So here's a blown up view of the EKG we just ran. All right, now, now we need to count how many boxes there are in between each peak, the R. Okay. Okay. How many do you see? There's two. And you're going to multiply that by two, mm -hmm. and you get four tenths of a second. Their heart rate's 144 beats per minute, which is what our patient's heart rate is. Another way to look at this is to take these boxes, which we have two large boxes, mm -hmm. and take 300 and divide that by two, and you can get 150, and that's another way okay. you can get an average. The final way to check the heart rate is by assessing the radial pulse. Sometimes this is an excellent way to check your EKG findings. Go ahead and feel for 15 seconds and count with your second hand. All right, Holly, what'd you get? 36. Multiply that by four, what do you have? 144. So the person's heart rate from the radial pulse in the EKG match. It's important to document your observations in the student simulation worksheet. Okay, based on a pulse rate of 144 beats per minute, that means this patient has atrial tachycardia. So make a notation of that on your student worksheet. Okay. 
And that's how you do a 3 lead EKG on a Lairdahl simulator. I'm Lauren Corbett from McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation Work Text. Thanks for watching and good luck in your demonstration.